Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special edition of The Good, The Bad and The Rugby with me, Alex Payne. Every week during the Autumn Nations Cup, we are breaking new territory. We are picking a team of the week. Um, we're going to be posting this on Amazon Prime Video's channels. We're going to be sticking it across ours as well. But there's a little bit of a twist. We have got creative. We've got prizes on offer. Uh, and the rules are very simple. Hask, Tins and I are going to argue our way through a 15. And then you have to do something with those names in a game that we are calling Autumn Nations Countdown. A lot of thought has gone into this. Uh, we'll explain the rules at the end of the game. That means that you'll watch it from start to finish, and that helps everybody. Uh, a reminder, you can watch the Autumn Nations Cup live on Prime Video every weekend throughout the tournament, and you can follow and subscribe to at Prime Video Sport on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Um, this is more of a challenge for us than perhaps you might anticipate, because um, we are a rugby show that loves the sport, but doesn't necessarily... Uh, profess to be scientists or doctors or professors of the sport. Haskin Tins, are we up for the challenge? Yes. I'm ready. ready. I love Amazon. Love Amazon Prime. Love the Autumn Cup. Let's deliver it. Or Autumn Nations Cup. <laughs> oh, right, you, you just can't let it go. Wait, You're mate. such a geek. Okay, Has away listen, we I'll, go. Over I deliver forward. the packages. I deliver the packages. I'm in on the inner in circle. Any more of that nonsense and you're gone. All right? Right. <laughs> Archie was the star. Yeah. No, he wasn't. Um, overall impressions of the first weekend, gentlemen. Michael, I'm going to come to you first of all. Um, look, I thought I thought the best game of the weekend was the Italy Scotland game, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, obviously, Wales are in a tough spot and and just got a mauling really at the hands of a very clinical island. And then England game, if I if I'm honest, I was I was a little bit disappointed with not just because I thought England would offer more, but Within that, it was a job done, a solid start for Ireland. Scotland getting a great win, five on the bounce, and obviously in England getting their job done. I know Amazon Prime Sport have brought in the two, uh, the two post camps. Just if, neither of those would work if you were still playing. They'd have both been taken out by now. So <laughs> <laughs> it would have cost them millions in just replacing cameras in every England game. So yeah, very I, good um, tips. <laughs> flush on the nose. Where, oh, but if it, what, if it did hit me flush on the nose, where there's blame, there's a claim. I, honestly, I, I'd, 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 I'd retire on the spot there. I'd be like, oh, Amazon. I'd have an imprint of Amazon on my head. And I'd say that was a sponsorship, like a billboard. They'd offer you a speaking gig and you'd quite happily just crawl back to them. So it'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, roll back the fans. We need you. We want you. I hope wherever you're watching it, you have been enjoying it. And let's be honest, given it's 2020, it's nice to have some live rugby to have got stuck into. Do you know what I um, liked, Alex? Sorry to interrupt you. Do you know what I liked about the fact was that actually when I was at, uh, I'm, not, I'm not pumping in with Tyler, but I quite enjoyed the fact I missed the, the start of the... Um, of the England game. I mean, like I missed it. I was doing something else. And I just came back and you could just, I just rewound it and watched it. Well, you, you could never do that. You know what I mean? I know you can record, like record it and stuff, but it was actually I, someone like me that only stream stuff. I loved it. I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you are the sponsor of the stream. I mean, I think Sky Plus was founded in about no, Yeah, but, 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 yeah, but, no, but let's, no, 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 let, no. let's not blow too no, much smoke. No, I mean, they're doing a saying, pretty good job. No, no. no you what to, he's you saying to, is live streaming. It's yeah, different, Alex. But you had, to, you had to click to record it. So unless you remembered to record it, good. it was on there. Well done. So, so yeah. what I meant is I went, sat down. I was like, uh, I, I know I've got to do this show. I've got to pick of the team in a week. I haven't watched anything. What am I going to do? I let, let the lads down. I know. I'll go and find it. I've missed it. Boom, quick rewind. Watched it all. Um, right, team of the week. Are we ready? I mean, yes. Hoff, I'm, I'm, there is a little bit, a little bit of me that's a little sweaty about this because th this could go absolutely anywhere. Are you aware who played last weekend? Yes, <laughs> I am. Poland versus Czechoslovakia. Good. Uh, right. England versus New Zealand and Australia versus Dubai. I thought it was a great weekend of rugby. <laughs> Super. Dubai <laughs> performing above their expectations. Okay, we are going to pick a fifteen. Shall we? Do you want to go one to fifteen or fifteen to one? Or do you want to go one to eight, nine to fifteen? Right. These are the details 15. that you worry about. Tins and I don't care. Let's about. start your, with our area. loose head prop. Let's start with our loose head prop. We're going to go one to fifteen. We're going to go traditionally. Right. Who would you like to throw into the pot for your loose head prop? I had Ellis Genge. Okay. Do you want to so, justify that, or is I that will, just because he's the fourth because, winner of this pot? Because he um, it was his first start for England for a while. Uh, we're playing against a very experienced, very calculating Georgian pack who uh, they're, they're like, if they're top trump card, you know, they're looking for a 10 on it, it would be scrummaging. That's their like power card. And I thought they dealt with it really well. I thought we 
We got penalties from them. I thought we scrummed them off the park. You know, Jess George, uh, George got one one scrum where they, they they pumped us. But when you're playing a team like that, that's going to be expected. And I thought it was a mature, defined performance from Ellis, as well as all his work around the field. And I think he should be in the mix. Beautifully put. You're Tim. welcome. Um, I have to give it to Fischetti of Italy. Um, he was on fire. He had three genuine number seven turnovers. Um, I did think Genji had a really good good first half, and also a shout out to Kian Healy, but he he gets the, if he'd have scored that try, he might have been it with a bit closer of a shout. But Fischetti all day long was um, he was he was outstanding for for Italy. Um, it, he was playing like a back row, so. There's my shout for it. Does Who this mean I have to do the casting vote? Yeah, that doesn't work. It's, I mean, I pretty much okay, go. I, with, I pretty much go with t- what Tin says because yeah, know, I, 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 yeah, I was going to lean particularly <laughs> in the first instance. Yeah. I bring um, the humour. Tins brings everything else. Well done, yeah. Danilo Fischetti, who's done nothing more than play politely and therefore goes mm. in on the loose head. Who care? Um, can I, I'll go first if, if that's all right with Hass. Yeah. Uh, I am going to controversially go for Turner, who came on for Scotland. Um, I generally think he changed the game for them. His ball carrying was outstanding. Uh, he did. Sc- uh, he set up that try. Did he score it himself? Actually, or did no? He set up the try. Um, yeah. He was outstanding. He changed the their intensity level when he was on, and he was that good. That is why I've I've gone for him. I thought my only other one was McNally, who was brilliant before him, but I generally thought his dynamism when he came on really changed how Scotland, how Scotland went. Stuart McNally. Go on, Hask. I thought Jamie George, hat trick, beautiful. Are you chip literally through. just going to pick 15 Englishmen? I mean, no, can we just. No, no. no. Okay, good, good. Yeah, just want to make sure. Relax. I thought, I thought, you know, I thought there, there, there's a lot mad, you know, logic to my madness. Against yeah. the best scrummaging side, or well, not in the world, but a very good scrummaging side, Ellis Genge. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I thought Hooker, three tries, cleverly weighted chip through, almost, you know, almost scored. I think that's great to see dead. the absolute truffle shuffle. I know, but, mate. Listen, if I kicked it, it would have taken someone's eye out in the stand. You know. <laughs> there wasn't so, even anyone in the stand. That's the point. Yeah. That's the point. You would, have, you would have missed it. I would have missed it. I would have, I, thought, I, would, I would have got red carded for missing the ball and kicking someone straight in the nuts. You'd have had a chance if you had your Amazon delivery boots on, but that'd be about it. Yeah. <laughs> the Toblerones. Uh, okay, I don't know why I'm casting the votes here, but I will give it to Jamie George because actually a hat-trick hooker, um, and given what Hask was saying on the live show about the argy-bargy with the, the, the Georgian pack, thought England were just so controlled in filthy conditions. Darts were straight as straight and true. Um, well done, Jamie George, in our and team that, of the week. And, and that is a tr- you true You can't prize, argue, yeah. Because the line out, some okay. of the line, I mean, obviously the Wales, the Wales, um, the Wales Scotland game before the line out was yes. dreadful. I saw some of the, I saw some of the the line out throwing in uh, one of the games was dreadful as well. Like the, the set piece in sort of some of those games has been terrible. So actually, Jamie George, like you're, you're right, spot on darts. Jolly Jamie George, well done, son. Uh, tight heads. I had Andrew um, Porter. I'll go I'll alternate. I'll go you and then you go. I had Andrew Porter. Okay. Uh, I thought he played really well. I yeah. thought it was great around the park. Uh, and I thought he is, yeah, was, 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 did well. Strong as an ox. I Gatlin's went, probably keeping an eye on him for next summer. Go on, Tins. Yeah, I went with Ferguson. I thought he had a very strong game for Scotland. Um, but around the park and towards the end of the game, carried really well. Um, I think he scrummaged pretty well. So I went for Ferguson. I know nothing about tight head propping, so... Uh, it's a good step. Can we just at this point have a quick check in on the fact that uh, Carl Sinclair took his shirt off? Definitely spent a bit of time looking at the big screen, flex the back. I, Did you see that? I, I have never seen. I mean, he must have been reading um, uh, Arnie's book about vacuuming because I've never seen someone suck it in for whilst looking at his own self. Looking good screen. though. Looking yeah, good. Look, you compare well, of course him to is the bus from years yeah, ago. Is 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 rigged? But I did feel that. He, does he realise that when he doesn't look at the camera, but he looks up at the screen, still everyone knows where he's looking? Yeah. Uh, and he was definitely <laughs> full vacuuming. He was working his uh, his uh, his core there by just just sucking in ever so nicely, like every photo good. on Hast on Hast Instagram. Basically. Except I'm not sucking in. <laughs> Anything else? I'm, br- I'm breathing out. Not breathing. The chance. <laughs> not breathing. Porter or Ferguson? Do either of you want to compromise? Uh, no, I can go with Hask on this. Okay. I know nothing. Oh, well, I, I think he knows more than tight head. Well, actually, there's a question. Does he? Okay. Know more about we'll tight? give it to Andrew Porter, who, who's, 
he's come such a long way as well. He is he is a, a proper star to watch. Um, I wonder if he'll be alive. Uh, okay, second rows. Um, I'm I'm taking liberties here because if people play out of position, I can bring them back into position. Can I? Okay. So I'm going Mar- Maru Atoji at in the second row. Obviously, he played six, but I. I wanted to make more space in my back row for later because I thought there were quite a few good back row players in there. So right. um, I brought him into the second row. If if we weren't allowed to do that, I was going with Quinn Roo. Good guy, Tron, quite happily. Um, so are you going to go... Give me both of your second rows. Yeah, my, mine was Marrow. And, 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 and I had him in the other position, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll go with Marrow. Okay. Okay, Marrow's in. I don't need, I don't need to cost yeah. a vote. Uh, five? I had uh, Ryan um, from um, Ireland. Yeah, uh, I th- yeah. I thought you know he physicality. I thought you know clinical in what he did, and um, you know is is a good player. I mean Charlie Yules, I thought did brilliantly for England, but you know I don't want to wedge this whole team for the English players. <laughs> uh, um, James Ryan for Hask. Who are you going at five? Uh, you. I I, w- I went with Johnny Gray. Actually, I thought he did a good job. Scotland. Um, he got. A f- I think he's really benefited by being at. Uh, Dan Exeter, I think he's a uh, ball carrying. He was good. Good. Um, which gives me the casting vote. I'm going to get Johnny Gray only because we've already got an Irishman in there. We're trying to spread the love. I mean, this is the least scientific 15 ever picked, but <laughs> let's give everyone something to cheer for. Uh, back row, six, seven, eight. Blind side first. I went for on the blind side. I've gone Pelledry on the blind side. Um, I think I, like I think he is um, outstanding for Italy. I think he is becoming the next sort of Parise. What he's done for for Gloucester, he pull, pulls up trees. He did do the worst grubber kick in the world, though, on a penalty advantage. But he just he just gets them over the game line all the time. So, yeah. And his going off had a massive impact in the yeah. game as well. Um, Peter Omani, where are we? Where are you looking off? I, I had I had Pledgery or Peter Omani, but I think Pledgery again uh, Italian representation. He's become a talisman for them. I think every time he carries, he, he fights so hard. He's a real presence. He's obviously a very different player than Parise. I mean, I saw I saw a video of Parise doing a crossfield kick for Toulon the other day, and, the guy, <laughs> and they scored. The guy, and a guy scored, and I was like, yeah. well, okay. I mean, you know, <laughs> let's just let's just pretend that we didn't see that. Um, so I'm going to go with Pledgery. Right, yes, I think I was going more for the talisman than the uh, the skills ability. I think. Well done, Jake Pelledri, and actually get well, Jake Pelledri as well, because he's done his knee, yeah. and um, Italy are going to certainly miss him. Uh, open side. I, I went with um, Jack Willis uh, purely because I uh, thought you know uh, a solid debut turnover um, try, uh, well two tries really, um, tackled well, fitted him well, you know, um, and obviously it's been a long time coming. He's had a great season and. Jesus, don't get better than that. Just sentimental, really, and also on performance. Hard to argue. Um, I can't, I can't argue Watson? with it, that. But I am going to throw a different name out. Hamish Watson. I think yeah. he is everything that is good about Scotland uh, in terms of getting over the game line. He just seems impossible to tackle, um, and he has fantastic hair. So I'm jealous. He does. And a John McEnroe band. Really hard to call. Willis or Watson, half you can have in your old uh, look, I, half seven I, shirt. I, I, look, I, I, you know, I, I think we're trying to spread the love here. I think Jack was, you know, for, for all the reasons yeah. I've said, and given a nomination. But <laughs> Hamish Watson, you know, he's been a standout performer for a while in that Scotland team. If he goes well, everyone goes well. He's, you know, he's a pretty special player. I think, um, you know, and, and look, there's so many good back rows around, but I think he's got to be, you know, got to be going on that Lions tour. You're going Watson. I'm going to go Watson, yeah. Sorry, Jack, but I've, you know, I've texted you. He, he, he'll have more days to come. Yeah. He's definitely, he's forced his way properly into the conversation now, hasn't yeah. he? Because there are yeah. players who come and go and come and go. But is he now, it's only one hit out and it is only Georgia. But given, if you add that to what he did in the Premiership this season. Yeah, I think, I, think, I think also if he'd have played, he only played 46 minutes. If, I think if, you, if, you'd have left, if yeah. he'd have played the full 80, then I, I think it could be a different story because of the way he was going. Um, so I think just because it, he only played those 46 minutes, it probably has just kept him out of the team. But I think he's in there for the long haul now. I also, I also think as well, remember Underhill didn't play, you know, Curry, Ben Earl was, you know, is obviously being seen as, 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 a, as a real successor. I mean, this, this will be interesting this weekend. I think you'll see Underhill, Curry and Bonapola against Ireland. 
and then we're interested to see where he goes on the, on the bench. And you know, someone like Jack, who I think he got a dead leg in the first ten minutes, he was telling me, which was obviously not ideal. Um, but you know, great, great segue into international rugby. And actually, I think it's a nice way of doing it. And we, we've had so many England coaches in the past who sort of given players a trial, things haven't gone well, and you're never seen again. And I think Eddie did it quite nicely, give him a chance, whip him off, bring Ben Earl on, and carry on. Number eight. Big Billy, Caelan uh, Doris. I I had Doris. I thought Did he you? was. I thought he played very very well. And again, that little save and flick back inside was a was a. It sort of finished it off for me. I, th- I didn't think. I thought Billy was a lot quieter than I would have expected him to to be against a, a team like that. But uh, which is why I I went with uh, Doris. I, lo- I love Big Bill. I think he's unbelievable. But I went with Doris as well. Good on you. Do you think we talk about? I mean, it's amazing. You you enter a Lions year with with what you think is a Lions team, and then suddenly we are, you know, we're a couple of rounds in, and we're suddenly looking at new players who six months ago you would most people wouldn't have heard of Caelan Doris, certainly outside of Leinster and Ireland. I mean, do you think <coughs> Doris has got the potential to be an absolute bolter? People talking him up. Look, I I think the interesting thing with the Lions thing is about peaking in these in these games beforehand. Uh, you know, some people are shoe ins and can have bad form. You know, I met myself in, in two thousand and nine. You know, they do all those things in the papers. You know, you're on the plane, you're in the waiting room, you're at your club. I was on the plane, packed my bags, didn't play very well in the Six Nations. Joe Worsley, you know, absolutely smoked Wales single handedly. You know, um, and. We, we, you know, I was right. He deserved to went on be, to be a lion, and I think um, you know it'll be interesting to see. There's a lot of rugby to be played, and there's a lot of peak. But you've got to be performing at the right time. And some of these guys, if they perform at the right time, they're in the mix. But the back row, I think, is going to be very difficult to choose. Yeah, I think I think I think people are getting a lot more exposure now, which is great for them. But as has said, when it comes to lion selection, it all comes down to Six Nations. It's I mean, it's just the way it is. You need to be playing, and even not even the first game you play. Yeah, the skin the skin off the last three games, and you 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 sort of in the squad, and then it's it's then showing you stuff when you're on tour. But that's all it comes down to. Nines. Ask is it you? Nines. I was going to give some park. I, I mean, I. I tend you go first. I'm interested to see where you go in this. So I wrote three. I thought Price, Youngs, and Park were were quality in the games that they played. Um, but I went for Park. I think he really, you know, he a lot of pressure came on his shoulders in terms of having to run the show, losing Sexton, losing his second 10. Um, and I thought he did a, he did a fantastic job. Um, so I gave it to Park. I had Youngs because I thought, I, I, you know, I, I just think he's favourite, but I just thought he... You know, he seems to be the last two games, you know, doing what he does well, you know, t- bringing forwards onto the ball, attacking himself, making himself a nuisance. I thought he kicked well out of hand. Um, and I was, yeah, I'm going to go with him, but I, I'm happy to bow to, to, to Tins on this. No, I'm going to go with Ben Youngs as a well done yeah, I, last week. Yeah, I, I thought he played, uh, I thought he played the best I've seen him play on Saturday for a while. Very, uh, he's still doesn't quite move the ball as quickly as I would like to. I thought there was a noticeable difference when Robson came on, but he, he's smart in terms of how he kicked and he's smart kicking behind and little bits and pieces that he did. Um, I have no issues with, with Youngsy getting and actually, it this week. It's never a game that England will put on DVD and sell in the club shop, but it also was, it was just a really efficient, brutal... There was no point of the game that ever you were thinking, crikey, that's not really working I, as it should. A mature performance, I would yeah. say job done oh, it's like the boxer who goes 12 rounds without having a, a punch landed on him and just jab 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 uh tens please gentlemen god well, bc of italy notable well, mentions i I, yeah. I mean i had duncan i had duncan weir, weir. Yeah. just just for the hair or just for the for the I, I, well i thought we talked about it on the main show you know i thought he took the ball to the line really well i thought he um he was so unlucky not to get that try you know, hasn't played rugby for so long, forward pass, him speeding off in the corner with one of the best slash worst lids in world rugby. <laughs> and, you know, it was just a shame that it was a judge, uh, you know, rightly forward. But I think it's, you know, everybody loves a trier. And you know, just as Beaver in, in the World Cup final, um, you know, c- comes on and kicks the balls, uh, you know, is this the start of Duncan Weir's kind of, uh, uh, you know, re-emergence as a Scottish 10? <laughs> Yeah, I, I will follow up with the, the Gabisi. I, I thought had a, a, such a strong game. I thought I think he's a real good find for 
uh, for Italy moving forward, uh, where he played, it helps when he's got the back three around him and and the two units he's got in centres. He just, well, and the back row, I suppose. He's he's been able to use utilise those weapons really well. Um, but I I think uh, we has got to have it for Lid and the way he played um, and the fact that you know he's donating all the money he raises from his Lid to his chosen charity. So salute you. It- 11,628 quid on Duncan Weir's Just Giving page. Um, That's the same you pay for a personal video from me. So <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Stop wasting your money on videos from Hask and pop a couple of quid in Duncan Weir's far better effort. Um, I quite like this, actually. He says he's got a strong head of hair and he's growing it out for charity um, to help offer some money towards those who've got challenges in their lives. So well done, Duncan Weir. You can have the keys to 10 to our team of the week. And if anyone's got any spare... Shrapnel hanging around, um, a pound in Duncan's pot would be huge. Listen, I, I'm not. My, my hair's falling out, and I didn't. And now I might be doing it falling out for charity. So can we? Sponsor this falling out? He's, he's growing it out. Mine's falling out. No, can't. We're going for far better causes. Well okay. done, Dunky Weir. Um, uh, do you want to do? Let's do centre combination, and we'll do back three as a uh, as a whole. So centres, twelve and thirteen. Um, Slade at twelve for England. Oh, no. No, I wouldn't take. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, I have gone Harris. I've moved them around. I've picked two thirteens. Um, right. So Harris, I thought was strong for Scotland. Um, I thought both. I uh, both both thirteens really were the best uh, that I saw at the weekend. So Zano or Zeno, oh, Z- Zano, Zano. Yeah. and and Chris Harris were uh, were my two that I picked out. I special special mention to. Uh, Lawrence, I thought he had a really strong game for England. I thought I was quite impressed in a game that re- didn't really suit the backs. Um, I thought he got he gave them a real focus. He carries so aggressively. Um, but I went with Harrison Zanon. Okay, I went with uh, Henshaw and Harris. Uh, I thought I thought Robbie Henshaw carries the ball so well for Ireland. He's injured, so I think he's obviously out this England game, uh, which is a real shame. And I thought Chris Harris was for all the reasons Tin said. Do you know, Hask, I'm going to go with you just because you've answered the question, which is a, a 12 and a 13. <laughs> do, you, do you want to object to that, Tins, or not? I mean, it is your specialist position. Well, uh, no, I would, I, but I, I think I would... I, you can have the veto. Me, because I think that Zanon was the best... I think he was the best centre on show at the weekend. So, in terms of... Right. So I, I, bow, I bow to, to you. <clears throat> I bow to you, my country. All right, Harrison Zanon it is. Uh, Zanon was superb, actually. Got some good, good number of Italians in our team of the week. Uh, well, I, thought, three. I, thought they, I thought for 60 minutes they were the best, the best team of the weekend in terms of what they, before, they put up there. Yeah. They, but they just don't have that depth. They, they don't have that depth off the bench. Yeah. yeah those, those, that cost them. Can we just actually give a shout out? I know this isn't necessarily going to make team of the week, but Maxime Banda, um, who was in the Italy training squad, to face England in the Six Nations before the game was cancelled. Five weeks later, he retrained as an ambulance driver and was driving around Parma helping A and E, all that kind of thing. That's absolutely extraordinary. Yeah. And now he's back well in the Italy squad again. So the circle's come full, full circle. If you catch my drift, um, he'd be a hell of an Amazon Prime delivery man. He'd be so good. Yeah, exactly. Well, wouldn't get lost. Wouldn't answer that's... back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't see that in a contract. What? Don't get lost. Don't answer back. <laughs> um, 11, left wing, right wing 11-14 I had Dwayne Van der Merve Hard 11. to argue with that Yeah, Duhan Duhan Without doubt he is the 11 shoe in, he is an ox um, On the other side Again, I mean Scott, the, oh, Scott Weger is very clever, he finds gems doesn't he, I mean I know he's not sort of unknown Van der Merve but he's got He's got a proper packed punch to him, which Scott well, he, did, he, he, what, he opened a, a biltong shock in Edinburgh and he's suddenly, <laughs> suddenly in the mix, is he? Well, oh, I, got a mate. I, think, I think he's only qualified by about two weeks, isn't he? Yeah. Um, well, so, yeah. There, there have been others who've, who've played on the day. I well, think no, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we um, don't judge. Well, Man, what? We definitely don't judge. No. We don't judge. Um, good on him. 143 metres, I think, Van der Merwe made. Um, yeah. I'm not going to argue with that. 14? Um, Bellini, for me. I thought um, I thought he was he was superb in terms of you know, just the work ethic, work ethic 
um, and just constantly being on show. The offload uh, to uh, Manozzi in the corner, um, I think. I think he was so he was strong. He was just busy, wanted to get involved. Special shout out to Lowe. I thought Lowe had a good debut as well, um, but I gave it to Bellini. I, mean, I, I went with Lowe. Go with Lowe. I went with Lowe. Um, I thought he was. I thought he was brilliant. I, you know, when I, I when he was playing over in New Zealand, I was just stunned that he'd. I, I was there when he uh, after one of the games. I think it was either the Lions tour or maybe before that when he before he before he signed and I couldn't believe they were letting him go because he was awesome over there and I thought it was going to be an absolute weapon and uh, he's obviously turned out to be that and I think he looked great for Ireland I think I think low would you would you would you be upset if we went low no not at all I just think as a, as a debut I Tins think doesn't get upset standard. he just never speaks to you again so. yeah <laughs> I'm not really upset with you Alex I just don't ever talk to you again and you, you know it's just you'll just disappear into the ether well <laughs> I see you know how extensive his black book is? He'll just tear out a page with your name <laughs> in it. Yeah, it's, it's when I go to bed at night and there's a red laser just dancing across <laughs> yeah. my pillow before I get into bed. Um, 15? Uh, Bailey, Minotzi? Oh, I mean, I... I, I mean, I, look, I, I went with um, Hog. I went for Minotzi. I thought, I, I thought the back three of Italy were very good. So, um, but... Um, I think for for Hoggy, it was just a work day. It wasn't um, it wasn't his usual glitz and glams, which you now have come to expect from him. But I thought Minotzi with his try and uh, and it being the end of that wonder try, that's why I gave it to him. And sort of what I love about Minotzi is I'd never really heard of him before he came to play at Was. And every time I saw him, I thought like a naughty like under fifteen schoolboy had like <laughs> run on the field. But he's unbelievable. Like he he like tackles above his weight. Like get stuck in physical has flair, but it sort of does look like he's about to go through puberty at any moment. Which yeah. you know, <laughs> <Nothing> <laughs> again, si size doesn't matter. Size, yeah, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it, every team needs a couple of beta males, and, that, and that's all you know, or delta males as we've got in our team. That's what I've been <laughs> telling you for a number of years. Right here is the team in full. We've got Danilo Fischetti, we've got Jamie George, Andrew Porter, Maru Itoje, Johnny Gray, a stonking back row, Jake Pledgery, Hamish Watson, Caelan Doris, Ben Youngs and Dunkey Weir are our halfbacks. We've got Dwayne van der Merwe, we've got Chris Harris and uh, Marco Zanon as our centre combination. James Lowe, congratulations on the right wing. And Matteo Minozzi at 15. And what I love about that is we've got strong representation from Italy and Scotland. And I think if you were picking a team going into the weekend, you probably wouldn't have picked that one. So that just shows you what a belting first weekend it was. Well done to all selected. And this is where we come to the crunch of our team of the week. We've got a little competition for you. This is Autumn Nations Countdown. Unfortunately, we haven't got budget to go to a sort of jingle at this point, but we'll see if we can stretch to that for weeks two, three and four. Um, we will give you the first letter of each of the 15 surnames. So you've got 15 letters, go through that team and pick out the first letter of each of the surnames. M for Merva, don't go VDM for Van der Merva. You get the five vowels, A, E, I, O, U, which you can use once each, and that gives you 20 letters. And from those 20 letters, you have got to make the best word or caption possible. So I've already got Fig Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I dated one of them. <laughs> um, I've got Fig Pig. To submit your entry, concentrate at the back, go to our Facebook page, type in Good Bad and Rugby, follow us if that's what you do on Facebook, and give us your word or caption. It doesn't have to be the longest. You don't have to use all 20. It does have to be amusing. It does have to be funny. It does have to catch the eye. And we're going to see if we can get Susie Dent involved, bring a bit of class to proceedings. Don't look away, Ask. This is your role. You've got to go and ask Susie if you get involved. No? Are you, yeah, are, you just, are, you, are you willfully abstaining from what is a very good game? <laughs> no, I, you keep talking about show two, we. three, and four. I don't we. think we're going to be doing this show. I think I and Tins might have to be doing something. It's uh, very hang on, simple. Hang on. Uh, uh, Archie's just ringing me. He's, he's sensing a, a break in the force. No, yes, Archie no, he, he is, sod off. He has come, he's killed himself. <laughs> um, the idea behind this is that instead of bickering over the team of the week, people put their grey matter to something that's a little more meaningful a bit more fun, the chance to win a hundred quid Amazon voucher, and we clean up social media one team of the week at a time. Okay. Are you sold, we'll me? We'll, you sold me? Yeah, we'll give you that. We're back in. Right. It's we, we again. It's not three. just you. 
apparently we may actually get Susie Dent to judge the words to make sure it's all above board. Um, so you could find, for example, verisimilitude, which is a beautiful word, marmalade, which is a favourite of mine, or casino hands, Haskell. Any of those would work, not with this week's letters. I'm just giving you examples of where people can come and play in the party. Haskell, you've been a reluctant participant, which disappoints me. No, 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 absolutely. In the end game, you have been no. a reluctant participant Your Honor, in the end Your Honour, my right honourable friend, Mr Payne, Mr <laughs> A Payne, is uh, making scandalous accusations. I delivered a team. I was asked to deliver a team, I researched a team. Not once was I asked to take a part in some Mickey Mouse game invented by someone with too much time on his hand, a gilet wearing, penny farthing <laughs> riding, cravat quaffing, red wine swilling, anagram fiend that I am not going to ever be involved in ever again. I can't spell, I've got dyslexia. I, you know, I had to Google what an anagram was. I didn't, I obviously went anagram wasn't playing it down, but I, I, I don't want to be part of it. But if it's a success, I'll be front and center like John Terry holding the trophy aloft. <laughs> the award. Again, rest assured. Oh, we won't today, get invited. We won't get yeah, invited. Oh, we won't get invited. <laughs> but rest assured, Amazon's the winner today. Yeah. That that no one is going to dispute. <laughs> F G P I G P W D Y W H Z V L M A E I O U. Those are your letters. Let's get out of dodge. Well done, chaps. See you next week. Yeah.